Hello dear Ristai Graspers. As you go through life, you will meet many people who come from different backgrounds and who harbor different perspectives. And the most important thing that can help you build positive relationships with all of these people is politeness. Let's begin with the news capsule. It was a dream weekend for Indian boxing after Nikhat Zarin won her second world title and Lavlina Borgohain her first at the IBA Women's World Boxing Championships held in New Delhi. The crowd favorite Nikhat beat Vietnam's Guyen Thi Tam 5-0 while Lavlina won a closely fought 5-2 decision against Australia's Caitlin Parker in their respective categories. Did you know that Nikhat is the first Indian boxer after the legendary Mary Kom to clinch two consecutive gold medals in this tournament? We congratulate both the winners for making our country so proud. Our boxers were not alone in their celebrations last weekend as India finished the ISSF World Shooting Cup in second position on the final day. With one gold, one silver and five bronze medals, India was placed second in the total medal tally behind China, who dominated the tournament with a total of 12 medals. The goal for India came in the men's 10M air pistol thanks to Sarab Jyot Singh. While first year MBBS student Sifth Kaur Samra won her maiden bronze medal on the last day of the competition. What an inspiring journey indeed. Last week the inaugural Women's Premier League commenced to a finish with an exciting finals and closing ceremony. Mumbai Indians defeated Delhi Capitals by 7 wickets at the Brebon Stadium in Mumbai to win the cup. Chasing a target of 132 runs, the winning team reached 134 in 19.3 overs. Courtesy to an unbeaten half century by Nat Silver Brunt. Some of the other tournament awards include catch of the season which was presented to Hyman Pete Kaur while Haley Matthews claimed the purple cap for most wickets and Meg Lanning won the orange cap for most runs scored. We will miss this action and cannot wait for the second season. Indian viewers have gotten used to the drama, excitement and end game chaos when Satvik Sairaj, Rani Kiredi and Chirag Shetty around the doubles court and last week was no different after beating china's ren shang yu and dan kang 21-19 and 24-22 in a closely fought finals they lifted the swiss open men's double title to make our country proud yet again did you know that this is their first bwf doubles title of the year and the fifth world tour title in their career this pair is certainly primed to set the court on fire every time they're on it and we can't wait to see what they achieve next Last week, the Indian Space Research Organisation successfully launched one of India's largest LVM3 rockets from Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Hari Kota. The LVM3 is a three-stage rocket fired with liquid and solid fuel and powered by a cryogenic engine. The rocket weighs a total of 643 tons and will be carrying UK Form One Web's final instalments of 36 Gen One satellites. Did you know that this is ISRO's second mission in 2023 after the successful launch of their mission in February? This is definitely going to help India further commercialize its rocket in coming years and make a bigger name for itself in the global space race. Asia's largest 4-meter international liquid mirror telescope was launched in Uttarakhand last week. thanks to the joint efforts of the Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences and multiple other scientific institutions did you know that the ILMT is the first liquid mirror telescope designed exclusively for astronomical observations and is the first optical survey telescope in india this telescope has a 4 meter diameter rotating mirror made up of a thin layer of liquid mercury to collect and focus light this will allow our scientists to explore the deep celestial sky and classify objects from asteroids to supernova and space debris. We congratulate all those involved in this launch and look forward to the learnings of this mission. For long, the moon has believed to be dry, but several missions over the last few decades have shown that there is potentially water on its surface, and a new discovery further proves this idea. 
Scientists have found that lunar soil is made up of glass spheres that contain water. These soil samples were retrieved during China's robotic lunar mission in 2020. Did you know that these glass spheres are created due to the action of solar wind on the moon's surface? One professor even said that you can see water molecules hopping over the lunar surface when it's sunny. This will surely come in handy for future astronauts who want to stay on the moon for a longer duration. Did you know that tigers have become extinct during the last decade in Cambodia? To address this crisis, the government of India is considering transporting a few of our own big cats to the country to mark 50 years of Project Tiger. This is India's flagship project to conserve and increase its tiger population launched by the government in 1973. Did you know that India harbors more than 70% of the global wild tiger population, which is increasing at an annual rate of 6%. Additionally, to commemorate the completion of 30 years of Project Elephant in 2022, the Environment Ministry will celebrate Gaj Utsav 2023 at Kaziranga National Park on April 7 and 8. So don't forget to mark these important dates on your calendar. Have you heard about the Aurora phenomenon? You might associate it with a beautiful green light shown in the sky. If you're near the North Pole, they're called the Northern Lights and near the South Pole, they're called the Southern Lights. But did you know that the past month has seen an unusually bright display of the Southern Lights in New Zealand? This has prompted Aurora hunters to drive for hours through the night to capture the elusive sight on camera. And for the most part, the photos haven't been disappointing. Don't forget to check them out for yourself. Jammu and Kashmir will soon boast of the world's highest railway bridge, which is set to open soon over the beautiful Chenab River. Built at a height of 359 meters, the Chenab Railway is set to be taller than even the Eiffel Tower in Paris by at least 35 meters. This construction is part of the Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link project and is anticipated as one of the most magnificent train journeys in the future. The bridge will soon be operational after its successful trial run. So when are you planning to take this stunning journey? Scientists create world's first 3D printed cheesecake. You might have heard about 3D printed furniture, but get ready to hear about a whole new level of what you can print. Scientists from Columbia University in New York have recently successfully 3D printed a cheesecake that you can actually eat. They did it by stuffing all ingredients into the printer and then printed out the slice of cheesecake in layers. What's even more impressive is that this delicious dessert was cooked in just under 30 minutes. What do you think about this new technology? Send us your thoughts at contact us at the rate igrasp.com. Scientists from the California Institute of Technology have recently developed a smart bandage that can help heal chronic wounds faster and provide real-time updates about its condition. This incredible device contains embedded electronics which allows it to transmit data wirelessly to a nearby smartphone and medication which is delivered directly to the wound site. It is going to be especially helpful in healing chronic wounds like diabetic ulcers and burns. Isn't this a fantastic technological development, eye graspers? The word of the week is hoodwink, which means to deceive someone. They plan to hoodwink the clients and steal all the money. The riddle of the week is, if an electric train is going east at 60 miles an hour and there is a strong westerly wind, which way does the smoke from the train drift? There is no smoke in an electric train. Can you guess who? This British physician received a bachelor's degree from Cambridge University at the age of 16. His work laid down the foundations for physiology, which is a study of body functions. He discovered the function of the heart as a pump in circulating the blood in our bodies. Yes, that is right. It is William Harvey, 
did you know that amidst his other discoveries, he also estimated the number of times the human heart beats per minute? Did you know that mice don't actually like cheese? Mice generally prefer grains, fruits and man-made foods that contain sugar in high quantities. In fact, they don't like the smelly odor of cheese. This fact of mice disliking cheese was found in a 2006 study that indicated mice avoid cheese and dairy food items. Quiz time! What is the most stolen food in the world? Send your answers to contact us at igrass.com along with your full name, school name and a photograph. Answer to the last week's quiz. There are over 45 types of spoons in the world. The main uses for them being serving, eating and cooking. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Shivam Rajbhar of Malwani Township Municipal Secondary English School for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens. I grasp. Dear iGraspers, this week we dive into the life of a son, a father, a husband, a hero and a leader who had to walk the plank between saving his family or saving his people. Nelson Mandela, the first president of the Rainbow Nation of South Africa, spent 27 years in prison unjustly for fighting the brutal system of apartheid. Follow his journey as he reflects on anguish, separation, systemic brutality and love. And you might just learn something about self-determination and resolve. Don't forget to share your thoughts on igraphs.com forward slash iClub. Thank you for tuning in to this week's News Capsule. Remember that politeness is more than just saying please and thank you. It's about showing respect, consideration and kindness to everyone you interact with. And you will quickly realize that it's much easier than it sounds and more rewarding than you'd expect. Thank you all for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.